Imagine, it's not a joke for a small community to produce a person who can, and sports is not something you pass an exam, you need to highly competitive. And that to tennis. I, I don't think any Kashmiri Pandan, unless they were in armed forces or tennis. maybe in elite services, they ever played uh, tennis. tennis. But that's what they do. Kashmiri Pandits. Uh, I, I didn't speak about management, IT, telecommunication, mm -hmm. engineering. Other than IES, IT. And of course, sectors. That's what. The presence abroad. You heard of, uh, I think, Utvalji was staying here. There is, uh, we have an organization, not an organization, they call them the civil society movement. Global Kashmiri Panda Diaspora. Panda Diaspora. Mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let me tell you a few things about. Why is it necessary to have global Kashmir? I have always been in favor of having global Kashmiri Pandit organization, and I did what I could within the four months that I had. Uh, I, uh, I I had interacted with them because there are huge number of Kashmiri Pandits abroad, and I think they have stake in Kashmir. Why should we deny it to them? And these days the world has shrunk. It is truly a global village. What was what you do in America, it has effect in Kashmir, it has effect in India, it has effect in New Delhi. Excellent. And who are these people? Some of them are and the I same people who went from the camp in Jammu. And they are doing so well today. And they are the and same the people who Mato. suffered. Who There are people who suffered Mato. here for 10, 15 oh, years. Jantar uh, Mantar Jana, Rose Minister Se Milna. And then they went abroad and they have established themselves. And they are doing very well. Excellent. So they have a stake. I think those people who are, they are in Europe, they are in Austria, they are in US, they are in UK, they are everywhere. And each one of them is holding a top-notch appointment. Even at the age of 30, 35, they are doing so well. We should be justly proud of them. And we must, we must get them on board in any activity. Excellent. So, what I am trying to say is this. Have Kashmir Pandit ceased to be a jewel in the crown of India? My emphatic answer is no. No. We continue to be a jewel, only in a different manner. Of course, the biggest problem is when your own land is taken away from you, the land with which are associated with like is Israel now fighting for the land, your devastans, your religious sites, then there is a disconnect. And it's a fact. Therefore, no matter what you say, no matter what you talk, I think this. Uh, this this feeling in our hearts, I you know, the people who are sitting here are now third generation Kashmiri Pandas. I can name so many of them who used to be in this very hall 10 years ago. They are no longer here. They have gone, passed away. Now, we have, and all of us look very old now. So somebody else will come in up there. But this pain of exodus, this pain of exodus must stay with us. And I would say the biggest, biggest contribution that Kashmiri Pandits have made to India, to the world, is to tell our story. It's not a joke. We have resurrected. How many of us would, how many of those who threw us out would ever imagine that we will survive? But we did not only survive, we, came we have flourished also. We have done what we could. and. Because Saraswati is with us, we Saraswati Vanna karte hain, abhi bhi shuru, shuruwati hamne Saraswati Vanna se kari. As long as we keep our thoughts and minds tethered to the ground and our past, our culture, our civilizational roots, we will continue to prosper. And I think the biggest contribution Kashmiri Pandit have made to India is that first, we have survived. And second, we have been, we have we have been successful in telling our story, which was hidden. Thirty years. The Kashmir Files was made. I think a lot of credit goes to Kashmiri Pandit for having and ensured that such picture. Somebody made. We didn't tell him to make it, but he made it. And uh, I think with these words, uh, I will finish my whatever I had to say. An optimistic note. We have nothing to really fear. Our future generation is doing pretty well. They are uh, they are in multi-various uh, professions. And each one of doing, each, you know, there is a person. He is a uh, he is a musician kind of a thing. He was in Europe, some Kashmir. I'm, I'm forgetting his name. My son sent me a photo of a, a video from Spain. 
Kashmir? Yeah, yeah, Kashmir. Parallel that side. Parallel that side. Yeah. And there, yeah. there were there were thirty thousand people in his music show. Yeah. Kashmir, thirty thousand people yeah. in Spain, in Madrid. He's one of the thirteen in the world. Yes. Thirteen. Can you imagine this? There are such Kashmiri jewels. They are all over, but we don't know of them. There are RJ, there are in film industry, there are uh, in, on social media. So we have really nothing to fear. I think all of you who have who are past 60 and who are proceeding to one trust. I think we should be uh, genuinely satisfied by uh, what we have done, we have suffered. But we have risen back from the ash. Uh, our future of Kashmiri Pandit is safe in the hands of brilliant young people. Sanyas. I, I know of people who spent days on um, on footpath and their children went to IIM and uh, they are very well off. Uh, they, are, they are doing pretty well. So we should be happy and uh, we should also um, uh, take this opportunity to uh, express our grateful thanks to the departed soul and the car. In fact, the last bit I want to say, when that uh, condolence meeting was, Shanti Path was held, a condolence meeting was held in that, there was a Chanti, there was a boy, I think he was Karsha's nephew, and he said, he, what he said was, he said, who is MK Kaab anyway? I think he said it. Who is MK Kaab anyway? Because the personality was so complex and so multifaceted. I have tried to write down a little bit as an answer. He gave the answer because he spent many years with him. He was a little bit. I, I would like to say this. In his long distinguished career, Kaab Saab was a brilliant student, an able administrator, author, columnist, poet, playwright, social activist, and a community leader. A person who doesn't come so often in this world. Thank you very much. And Thank you. Thank you, Thanks to Carl Sam. During his lifetime, also he contributed.